Hi everybody, it's Katie again with another daily inspiration for all of you. I am so, so sorry to all of my viewers. Um, I haven't been making vlogs like I, I, I had planned to been doing. Um, things have gotten a little busy around work. But, as you could tell from my first message, all of the students are gone from campus, so I have a little more free time, and thus, making a new video. So, um... What's going on in my world? Well, as you can see, I cut my bangs all by myself. Yep. They're a little, they look a little grungy today because of the humidity, but I promise you, they're cute. Just not today. <laughs> um, so I cut my bangs for free. Everybody's like, oh, you did them yourself? That's so crazy. What's crazy is spending $25 on this much hair. That's crazy. Anyway, um, what else is going on in my world? I finished my final, which was due last week, but I finally finished the, this week, so I was excited about that. Um, hope my professor enjoys uh, my pieces in that. Um, we also had the Crusader come out, which is our literary journal here on campus. Ooh, fabulous. And I did um, get a few pieces published, as you can see. Ataraxia by me, and then I Like Grape by me, and then Listening to Fleetwood Mac by me. Um, that last one is a special one about my mom. I think I'll probably uh, do some other videos and read some of my poetry to you guys um, from the New Crusaders. So if you live on campus, or, well... If you're at this campus, pick up copy, pick up copy for your friends. It's really, really good this year. Um, really, really, really good. So, pick up a copy. Love it. Anyway, what else is going on? Um, summer plans. People are like, oh, what are you going to do for summer? A lot of my students that actually live in my building, they were like, so what are your plans for the summer? And I was like, oh, I work. And they were like, oh, where do you work? And I was like here and they were actually surprised that I live on campus like the whole year long Rex stop it no you may not talk back okay anyway so they were surprised that I lived on campus so um but I do have summer plans uh mom and I my mama mama um we are planning a vacation we don't we don't necessarily know exactly where right now and we have a tentative date so I'm hoping to get those days off and hoping to have a little mother daughter vacay with her I'm really 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 pumped about that um so that's my big summer plan another big summer plan that I have going on is uh my friend uh and comrade uh David Bailing asked me to be uh, a guest writer for his column in the Albert Lee newspaper called Notes from Home. So for three weeks in June, I will be writing for the Albert Lee newspaper, which has a circulation from what he says, my friend David says, for of about 7,000. So, like, that's a huge audience, and I'm really super pumped about it. I was hesitant at first because I was like, am I putting too much on my plate? Is there going to be enough time, like, oh my gosh, but then I was like, why not? Hmm? So I'm really, really excited. I've got some ideas in mind, but I just need to get them down on paper. So speaking of getting things down on paper, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to be doing a summer reading list. So let me go grab some books and I will share my summer reading list with you. I'm back. So, the three books that I really, really, really want to read that I bought like forever ago but haven't had time to read are, um, they're all actually authors that I met, so I don't know if that's corny or not, but I'm a huge fan of them, so forget you. Um, the first one is Joe Wilkins, The Mountain and the Fathers. I picked this up this semester and I haven't gotten time to read it. Um, it's his first like memoir. Uh, nonfiction work, so I'm really, really excited. He read um, at the end of April, and I actually got to introduce him. That was really cool. Thanks, Joe. Um, 
I got to introduce, and he read so well. So I was like, okay, if I didn't have, if I wouldn't have bought the book, I would have done it already. I would have bought it that night because he just read so so beautifully. So I'm excited to read the Mountain and the Fathers um, by Joe Wilkins. So that's my first book that I want to read. The next book I picked up so long ago, but I I just haven't committed to reading the book. But it's called The Wilding by Benjamin Percy. I'm a huge Benjamin Percy fan. That man's voice. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is such a good writer too. Um, it's very suspenseful, but very unique. Oh man, he's just really, really good. So I'm excited for The Wilding by Benjamin Percy. And then last but not least is a poet. Um, this guy came to campus when I was a student, and I really, really liked his book, The Tangled Line. And I thought, if I really, really liked The Tangled Line, maybe I'd like something different. So I got one of his earlier books um, called Dare Say. Todd Marshall is the author, if you can read that, Todd Marshall. Um, he's a really, really good poet, um, very unique, and he just, he has a really, really, really good craft. So um, I'm excited to read that by him. So I've got Dare Say by Todd Marshall, The Wilding by Benjamin Percy, and The Mountain and the Fathers by Joe Wilkins. So those are my three books that I'm set, super set on reading. Um, I want to get through these. Damn it. I want to get through them. So that's my goal for the summer to read those books. And I thought I'd share them with you. Um, as soon as I get them done, maybe I'll do like a review video if you guys like reading stuff. Um, so there was that. I want to say thank you to all of my new YouTube subscribers, my new Tumblr subscribers. Um, I've, I've had a really good influx of, of viewers come in, so I'm really excited about that, and thank you very much for your support.